Well, with an emphasis on math and reading, arts programs are shrinking in the U.S. public schools. That includes music arts. But a local charitable group is working to make sure children in Delaware are exposed to music. They're also working to strengthen awareness to opportunities available in performing arts. And joining us today to tell us more is musician, educator, and president of Delaware Charitable Music, Joe Bayonne. Thank you so much for joining it's us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, first of all, tell us, what is Delaware Charitable Music, and what do you do? It is a 501c3 organization, and what we're trying to do is uh, bring cultural programming for the original forms of American music, jazz and blues, and the most exciting thing is to uh, bring those art forms into the schools as a program we have, it's called Discover the Music Project. And the artists come in when they're touring and they do workshops in the public schools. And we've done about 15 in the last three or four years. So. Wow. And how yeah. did you get involved? Well, as a musician, educator, of course, I, I was uh, involved. Matt Bowler, uh, June Jam, Sydney Arts, Rehoboth producer, and I uh, formed the organization. And our goal and mission was to uh, bring more of the education and bring more of this uh, roots of American music that stems out everywhere and just bring the uh, public more aware of it. Now you have a concert coming up, uh, tell us about it. Well it's Fall into Jazz, it's September 8th. Uh, the proceeds for Fall into Jazz will go towards the music workshops and we have Jesse J who's a sizzling Latin uh, musician. She plays a saxophone and she's a vocalist and then uh, Kim Waters will be returning and he's the called the Urban Pied Piper of Jazz and one of the top contemporary jazz artists. All right, and so. we're, we're seeing uh, Jesse J right there, yep. uh, one of the saxophone players, and that's a, uh, her album cover, Hot uh, Sauce. Hot yeah, Sauce. Yeah, that's the big song. And there we have Kim Waters. And what did you call him again? The Urban Pied Piper. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Piper. Now, you had mentioned that the money that you make from these concerts goes into these workshops. Um, I imagine putting together the workshops is kind of and difficult. Yeah, well what happens is uh, Fall in the Jazz will, the money we make in Fall in the Jazz will help us plan for the upcoming school year uh, and it doesn't, what we do is we, we try to find the artists who are coming in the area touring and then we uh, book them to come to the schools and to do workshops and and it, you know, it's a it's a year-long process but it's a fun experience and and just the, the uh, just to see the kids' faces and the impact is priceless. It's amazing. So. Well worth it, isn't yeah, it? it really is. All right, can you run down the, uh, the details for us? We've got the information right here. It's uh, Sizzlin' Jazz. Yeah, it's gonna be at the Sword Center and it's gonna be, there's a Meet the Artist party at six o'clock. It's premium ticket holders and you can still get those. And then the general tickets, will see the concert starting at eight. And uh, there's still seats left and they're going fast, but uh, encourage your young musicians, parents, bring the young musicians out. It'd be a great thing for them to see the uh, uh, musicians perform. And we the Schwartz Center, of course, Schwartz in Dover. Schwartz Center Performing the Arts in Dover, Delaware, yep. Exactly. So. All right. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun for a great cause. It's going to be fun. It's going to be yeah. awesome. Joe, yeah. thank you. We appreciate hey, thank it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Very good. And if you would like to learn more about these artists or order tickets to the show, you know where to go. Our website, delmarvelife.com. Click on the show tab. And still ahead on Delmarva Life, we are in the kitchen. Catch, 50, catch 54, it's a catchy <laughs> title, here to show us how simple it is to make a salad that's packed with fresh flavors. Good, because I'm starving. <laughs> but first, here's a look at what's coming up in the news on First at Five on Fox 21, and later on WBOC News at 6.